Hey guys, I'm going to do another tutorial. With this one, it's going to be in regards to screen caps and using the content aware, which is the freaking most amazing thing ever that I learned in school. So I'm going to teach teach you how to do it. So for now, I'm going to um, get my images and I'm going to try to pull up this look, which has a few screen caps and then a circle image. So let me look for my images in Photoshop. So there's one. Um, the content aware, which I'm going to show you now, since we have two. Um, I use the lasso tool. And then with the lasso tool, I highlight this area that I don't want. Sometimes the lasso tool is great, sometimes, I mean not the lasso tool, the content aware, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not, but it's something that you have to try. So that was um, edit, and then you do the fill option, and then you drop down to content aware. And then you press OK, and pretty much that's what it does. Then you do control D for deselect. You see how amazing that thing is. So we do it again. And sometimes I like to duplicate the background just in case if it doesn't do a great job, which 95% it does freaking awesome miracles. Again, boom. You see that? It's not, you know, it's, if you look at it, it's freaking awesome. Alright, anyway, so we like that one, so I'm just going to minimize it, put it to the side, same thing with this, I'm just just in case I need the whole image, I don't want this freaking an MTV thing. You see sometimes it's not the greatest, but it does what it does. Sometimes you can also use... Um, the clone tool and we can maximize it and then what you do is um, all if you have windows um, in Mac I think it's the option key and so uh, when you get that little symbol like that that means that it's copying it and then you go down and you pretty much clone the whole thing you see so either option is pretty awesome so put that to the side I just love, don't you love that kind of wear? Anyway, so we'll put that back there. And now, let's see, I think this one was the circle one. So I'm just going to put it to the side. And I think this is going to be for the bottom. So we'll put that to the side. And it's gonna be for the bottom, so let me just. And she's for the top, so I'm going to just a view of it so that I can be able. And then I just hit delete, so I could delete that part of the image. And we're just going to move around there. Yeah. I think I should keep this like in the lower end of the image. Right there. Do I delete that? Okay, 
let's go over here. Let's see what else we have. Uh, yeah, I like this one better for the tomato part. And I want this maybe like right there. Selection, delete. bottom one is going to go to the top. It says I'm going to do this circle. I think I'm just going to duplicate this and move it to the side like that. Because I'm going to have that circle so even though it, it's not perfect but you can use the eraser tool just to delete it. And since my opacity was low, there we go, now we're cooking. And I just move it to the side like that. And then the bottom one, I'm just going to move it just a little bit more like that. And then the circle one, you take the it called the rectangle marquee tool you right click and you do the elliptical marquee tool then you know you just drag to you know the best circle you could do and then when it's done you just move it to the selection you want and I think I like it like that and I think I might get a little bit of a glove which I don't want you do select, transfer tool, and with this you can, you know, have more control of that circle. So if it wasn't perfectly circled, you can have it now. Then you, um, you do the check mark to do yes, and then you do a right click um, and go down to, you could do either cut or copy, it doesn't really matter because we only need it for the circle and then you drop it to the other image so if you see it's there delete that, don't want it and then that circle might be a little bit too big so what I'll do is control T and then I hold down the shift when I move it so that it could be pro um, equally proportioned when I reduce the image so we'll do just a little bit like that And just grab it for another end. Just put it down, drag it. And that other one of Lydia, I'm just gonna do something else. Sorry, this is gonna take a little bit more. job so I'm just going to do the surrounding with the all um, clone two yeah, happy enough that other Lydia thing, I'm going to make a circle out of it, out of her face, and get rid of that, then with her face,
think I'm happy enough with that. I really should keep it there. That's good enough. And I think this is a little bit too wide. So that's pretty much ah, go away. How you would do that. And then let me do real quick a PSD. Kinda like that green with the background. So if you see the image, it's like that right now. And so, you know, they use, um, I guess, a single type of PSD for each one. But, you know, I like this one to be all over like that. And I'm just going to reduce the width. No, that's not what I want. Go away. And so then I flatten it. Hey, you know, if there's some, um, you know what, I think I might go back and just throw a little shadow for the circle ones so that you can know it's a circle. And I like that one. And there's the other one. Drop shadow. Like that. Then I flatten it. Yes. And, you know, if you want to throw different qualities to the image, and let me just reduce the size of this. If you heard a whistle, that was my tablet. Not that you're hearing things. And that's pretty much that. And let's see, sharpen, smart sharpen, I like the look of that, and let's throw a blur, smart blur, mm, I think I might reduce a little bit of the threshold, just want a little bit, but not too much. Just in case, sharpen. Mm, it's actually not bad. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So for this one, you basically um, got to get a hold of, um, you know, the how to get rid of the cotton aware, how to, you know fix your images and if you want to make um, screen caps defaults like this you know it's pretty easy I hope you guys got a thrill out of that talk to you guys soon